Hi everyone, welcome back to Codera. Today in this video, we'll discuss the problem B that is integer shop from the latest Code Forces round Hello 2022, which was rated for Division 1 as well as Division 2. So the problem says that uh, the integer shop sells uh, n segments. The ith of them contains all integers from range li to ri and the cost for that particular segment is uh, ci coins. Uh, tomorrow, Vasya will go to this shop and will buy some segments there. Here, uh, he will uh, get all the integers that appears in at least at least one of the segments. The total cost of the purchase is the sum of the cost of all the segments in it. After uh, shopping, Vasya will get some more integers as a gift. He will get uh, the integer x as a gift if and only if the following conditions are satisfied. If x has not been bought. And if uh, the integer L is lesser than X and uh, R is greater than X, right? What does it mean? So it uh, basically says that you will be given L and R. So let's say if L is given to me as 1 and R is, R is given to me as 3. So in that case, I'll get 1, 2 and 3 integers. And let's say the cost for them is, uh, let's say 5. So for that, I'll be paying a cost of 5, right? Like this. And let's say if I have L is equal to 1, R is equal to 3. If I buy this particular segment at a particular cost, let's say C1. And if I buy a segment that is R is, uh, L is equal to, let's say something like this. I buy a segment like uh, 6,8. Right, like this, uh, where R is uh, 8. In that case, I have bought 1 and 3. I have all bought all the integers from 1 and 3 with a cost of C1. And then I have bought all the integers from 6 to 8 with a cost of C2. In that case, what would happen? I'll also get the integers 4 and 5 as well because they are lying in between these two segments. And uh, for this, I will not be paying any cost because I'll get them as a gift because I have bought uh, the first segment and the second segment. So the co overall cost will be C1 plus C2 and things like that. Also, it can be possible that uh, all the integers might be present between 1 and 8 or 1 and 9, anything like that. Okay. Now, coming to this problem, uh, what the problem says is that uh, if let's uh, let's say for example if you bought the segment 2,4 for 20 coins and 7,8 for 22 coins then you will get what 5 and 6 as well because by spending only 42 coins total that is 20 for the first segment and 22 for the second segment and this is the highest number of integers that you can buy for this particular segment now you'll be given some segments where you will be given L1, uh, Li and Ri for each of the ith segment and you want uh, you want to buy as many integers and po as possible. If it is uh, possible, if there are different ways to buy uh, the maximum number of integers that you can buy, then in that case you have to buy the cheapest one, right? What, do, what does it mean? So basically if, if you, you have some segments, let's say Li and Ri and using those segments, if you are able to buy 1,8, let's say with a cost, let's say cost uh, 1, with a cost 1, if you are using some segments and let's say you have a segment 1,8 and you are buying it with a cost directly with a cost 2, right? In that case, what will happen if this, uh, you will check that whether the cost 1 is greater than cost 2 or not. You will buy, buy it at the minimum cost. If you are uh, using some segments such that you are getting 1 and 8, uh, all the integers from 1 to 8, you are buying all from 1 to 8 and its cost is cost 1 and you are just getting this particular segment 1,8 with a cost of cost 2. In that case, you will get the, you will buy the cheaper one, right? Let's say you are, you are uh, using some segments such that uh, you are buying 1,6, right? You are buying 1,6 using some segments Li and Ri such that you have maximized and you are buying 1,7 as maximum and you have another segment that is 1,6. In that case, even if the cost 1 for this particular segment, the cost is assuming that the cost is cost 1 and for this particular segment, the cost is cost, cost 2. So since it has more integers, that is it has integers from 1 to 7 and this has integers from 1 to 6. So this uh, first segment is having uh, more integers. So that is why you'll be buying it, right? So the first priority will be, there are two priorities in this question. The first priority is to maximize the number of integers, right? The first priority is to maximize the number of integers and the second priority is to if if uh, the segments are same if the length of the length of the maximum segment is same maximum uh, integer segment if same then buy the cheaper one right then buy the cheaper one why will you spend more right 
so the question is how do we approach this problem so let's have a uh, look at the some of the test cases of this problem so that we can have a better understanding of this problem so let's say if uh, also in this problem you will be given t test cases and for each test case you will be given a single integer n that is the number of segments and then you will be in the next n lines you will be given li ri and ci where li is the leftmost part of those segment of integers ri is the rightmost part and ci is the cost for all the integers ranging from the uh, values li to ri inclusive right now moving on let's uh, have a look at some of the test cases of this problem so let's say we have a look at this first test case right so in this test case uh, what you have been given is that you have been given n as 2 right you have been given two segments and the first segment is 2 4 and 20 right the first segment is 2 and 4 so for the first segment is 2 4 that means the integers will be from 2 to 4 and the cost for this is nothing but 20 right the cost for this is 20 another segment that you can have is 7 and 8 and the cost for this is 22 so what you can observe one thing that you can observe is you will be getting also the integers 5 and 6 uh, 5 and 6 uh, because they are lying in between and you will be getting them at a cost of 0 right so the overall cost will be 42 and in this way you can see that you have maximized your cost how since you want if also one more thing that you need to observe is to maximize maximize the range to maximize the range l should be as small as possible right l should be as small as possible because if you if you have two uh, two parts right you have this so if you want to extend the length so that is why l should be as small as possible and r should be as large as possible right r should be largest among all segments right among all segments right so this way you have to move in this question let's have a look at the other test cases as well let's say we look at the second test case that has been given to us in the question so if we have been given uh, n is equal to let's say 2 and we have been given 5 11 and 42 and we have been given 5 11 and 42 in this case what you can observe one thing that in this case you will say that okay both segments are like we buy if we buy 5 to 11 so we are paying 42 if we buy again 5 to 11 so in that case also we are being uh, buying it for 42 in that case it doesn't matter which you are buying because the segment can be maximum from the range 5 to 11 that is we can buy all the integers from 5 to 11 at a cost of 42 right if this instead of this being 42 if it was 50 then you would have bought the first right so this is uh, one of the examples now let us have a look at the third test case which is a little bit on the trickier side the question was very easy i know but the problem is with the implementation so that is why we'll be focusing more on how to actually implement this question without using any map or something like that with only using the uh, left and the right pointers to indicate the ranges and uh, keep a check on the costs as well right so let's say if you have been given n is equal to 6 and in that you have one segment 1 4 and 4 right so you'll say okay if i have one segment 1 4 and 4 so i am paying a cost of 4 for it then i have a segment 5 8 and i'm paying 9 for it so you'll say okay if i have a segment 5 to 8 so this increases the overall so now my left will be what my left is 1 and right is 8 so i'll say okay i need to buy this segment as well so the total cost will be uh, 13 right the total cost will be 9 plus uh, 4 that is 13 right so the cost up till now let me keep a track of it so i'll say that the cost up till now is nothing but 13 because 9 plus 4 now i come to this 7 and 8 i if i buy 7 and 8 i'll pay a cost of 7 wait if i'm buying 7 and 8 i will pay a cost of 7 i see that my uh, rightmost range is 8 that is perfect my left won't change my left range is starting from 1 so it won't change but my rightmost range is the same 8 and 8 the the given value that is r for this and my current uh, maximum r that i've seen up till now is 8 but which is the minimum that i am getting i am pay for getting this stretch i am paying 9 whereas i can pay 7 only right so i'll say that okay i'll not buy this one i will buy the one with this cost of 7 so what will happen in this case is like in this case i'll buy this segment 7 comma 8 and i'll pay 7 for it so i'll get i'll get the integers 5 and 6 as well along with it so now the cost instead of being 9 plus 4 it will be 7 plus 
7 plus 4 that is 11 right for this case now if you have a look at the next uh, case that is 2 10 and 252 so in that case you are changing your range now what is happening in this case is in this case you can see that if you buy 2 and 10 and 252 so in that case what is happening actually your number of integers are uh, are they changing because 1 uh, 1 to 1 to 8 what is the total number of integers in this range the total number of integers is then in this range is nothing but 8 in this range what is the total number of integers the total number of integers is range this range is 2 and 10 uh, which means 2 3 4 5 6 uh, 7 8 9 10 that is uh, 10 minus 2 plus 1 which will give us uh, 8 plus 1 9 so in this uh, case you can see that there are more integers right in this case like 8 minus uh, 1 plus 1 that will give us 8 integers but this 2 and 10 uh, 2 to 10 range will give us 252 right uh, will uh, that is 2 and 10 will give us 9 integers instead so that is why I'll buy this at the cost 252 because the cost is high but the range of the integers I want to buy it maximum so that is why I'll buy it now I come to this range that is 1 and 11 and for this range 1 and 11 I'll be paying 271 so I check what are the total number of integers in this range so 11 minus 1 plus 1 will give me what it gives me uh, 11 total integers right so that is why since this is the maximum that I'm having so that is why if you will check the answer so, uh, so in this range you are paying 271 right and each time uh, each time you are getting these segments so you have to tell what is the what is the maximum up till now like if you have uh, if you have let's say l1 r1 r and c1 and then l2 r2 c2 and then l3 r3 c3 then you will be telling for each part like uh, up till here you will be telling you that what is the cost right what is the cost optimal uh, what is the cost says that the segment is maximum here also you will be saying what is the cost right each time you will be printing the cost uh, you don't need to print the segment but the uh, it is assumed that the segment you will be choosing will be large enough uh, largest possible segment that you have uh, that you could choose the, the maximum number that contains the maximum number of integers but basically the cost uh, should be minimum for that right if there are two segments uh, such that if you get some segment using some of the uh, values that let's say you are getting 1 to 10 uh, using some segments l l i ri uh, up till L, lj rj right if you are getting some segments with a cost of as i said cost one and you are getting directly one comma ten with the cost of cost two so if the cost two is lesser so you will buy this one right so let me show you the code part for this problem what i am basically saying is you first of all declare an infinity value that is one e nine plus one because that is the uh, maximum uh, you can see in the constraint so what i'll do is first of all the minimum value of l that is the minimum l that i'll be having that minimum l indicates the lower uh, pointer of my range so minimum l i have initialized it to infinity i have initialized the cost of l to infinity as well then maximum r is what i'll start my maximum r from zero because i will not initialize my maximum r to infinity by right in that case it will not get updated and my i'll initialize my cost of r that is the cost of the right range as a that is infinity again uh, then maximum length up till now that i have seen i'll be marking it as zero because initially i do not have any segment with me and the cost of that particular length will be a right that particular overall cost will be a that is uh, max uh, infinity right because a is infinity now what I'll be doing is I'll be taking n as, as as an input and I'll take each time I'll take L, R and the number of uh, coins that I have to pay for that particular range. I'll check that if the current R that I have taken as an input, if the current right range that I'm getting, if it is greater than the maximum right range that I've got up till now, in that case, I'll update my maximum R because uh, the current R is greater. So I'll update my maximum R because I need to extend my range the I for getting the maximum number of integers. And after that, I'll update my cost of R is equal to coins, right? After that, I will also be checking that if my R, uh, there can be two cases, right? We also saw in that case, like uh, if there was a case where eights were equal in the ranges right so in that case we instead of choosing a cost of nine we choose a cost of seven right for the uh for the uh second test case i think or for the first test case i think right so if r is equal to the maximum so if uh, the maximum range is the same so i'll check that whether i am getting this uh this much coin that i am paying for this particular r whether this is minimum if this is minimum then i'll uh, reduce my cost if suppose that i am getting earlier by r was eight 
and uh, earlier my max R was 8 and now my, I'm getting R as 8 as well. So I'll check which is the minimum cost that I have to pay for a particular range. So because uh, if R is the same, so I'll choose the minimum cost. That is why I'll update my cost R with the minimum. Similarly, I'll check if my L if my uh, minimum of L, if it is greater than uh, the L that I've got now, so that means if the L that I'm getting in this particular uh, new segment, that, that is uh, L comma R, if this L is lesser, so that means I can extend my range. So that is why if this L is lesser, so that is why I'll update my main L to L and the cost L to the number of coins, right? After that, I also need to check if the current uh, leftmost point is equal to uh, the minimum that uh, the minimum L that I have seen up till now. So if that is the case, so I'll take the minimum cost, right? If I am getting both, uh, both of the costs, that is, if I had some left segment which for which I was paying cost of L, and now for this particular range which is also having L as the leftmost, which is same, so I am paying coin number of coins for this coin amount for this. So I'll check which is the minimum, and I'll be taking that. And also I need to check. If the current range that is the current range is what R minus L plus one as discussed. So if it is greater than the maximum length that I've seen up till now. So that means if uh, the cost doesn't matter if the length we can increase the length of our segment in that case what we'll do uh, we'll uh, update our maximum range that is R minus L plus one and then the cost of the length for that particular segment will be the number of coins that is we are paying for this particular range because we are taking this complete range so basically what I'm saying is if this complete range that we are have if it is greater than the maximum length that we have seen up till now so it doesn't matter uh, what uh, what segments are cheaper because if the length is greater if the number of coins the if the number of integers that you can pick is increasing so that is why you'll pay any cost for that right after that if my maximum l if uh, if again in this situation also there might arise a situation that uh, r minus l plus 1 can uh, that i have got currently might be equal to the length of the range that i've got up till now so what does what does it it mean basically it means that let's say for integers let's say for integers 1 to 9 let's say for integers 1 to 9 i am paying 100 dollars right 100 dollars and let's say for integers, uh, let's say this will be what the total number of integers in this will be 9 minus 1 plus 1. So that will be nothing but 9 integers, right? For 9 integers, I'm paying this much amount. Let's say I pay, I pay, let's say $75 for the range, uh, let's say 11 to 20. Uh, let's say for this range, uh, let's say 20 minus 11, which uh, 20 minus 11 plus 1, uh, 20, 12, let's say it is 12, right? So 12 comma 20. So uh, 20 minus uh, 12 plus 1 that will give me nothing but 9 so for these 9 integers for these 9 integers in the range 12 to 20 I if I am paying $75 so that is for this 9 integers if I am paying $75 so that will be cheaper so that is why I'll take this cost I'll take the minimum cost here also from 1 to 9 what is this 9 minus 1 uh, 9 minus 1 plus 1 so that gives me 9 integers as well in this range but for this I don't want to pay $100 because if I can buy another 9 integers with $75 so I'll buy that that is what I was saying now uh, coming back so what I'll be doing is I'll be updating my answer to the cost of R plus cost of L that is cost for getting the left pointer uh, left pointer uh, to the left uh, as minimum as possible and the right pointer as maximum as possible so that our range is maximum and I will check if the maximum uh, length that I have seen up uh, up till now if it is equal to max R minus max L plus 1 that is uh, that is as we need to check for the global answer as well no normal answer as well so if that is the case so in that case I will update it uh, update my answer with the minimum cost right uh, because if the length is the same so I will check if the maximum length is equal to uh, is the maximum length is equal to r minus l plus one that is for a particular segment it might happen that you might be adding some segments right if you it might happen that you might be adding some segments but whereas actually what would be the situation is that you might get a segment that will be uh, that will be uh, giving you the same number of integers but uh, its cost will be minimum so in that case you'll update your answer and in the end you will simply uh, return your answer that will store the uh, maximum uh, maximum number of uh, that this re in that range the maximum number of coins will the maximum number of integers will be there with the minimum cost that you could buy right so in this way i've tried to write this problem many people have used map or uh, data structures like this but if you uh, were clever enough to use this particular technique that is left and the right pointers uh, just to keep it in a greedy manner then in that case you did not need to use any data structure and this code could have been written in much easier time right so this was the code and i'll provide it in the description 
description of this video thanks a lot everyone for watching and make sure to comment down your feedback like uh, what are the things that you think that we can improve in this video so that we can improve the future videos as well thanks a lot everyone for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel